We're actually doing the biggest expansion of Science City since it's opened in 1999. Uh, three brand new areas. They've all been designed by Boston's Children's Museum, which is kind of a preeminent leader in informal learning for younger kids. And so we're trying to age younger in Science City. We've learned that kids going into kindergarten really need these developmental skills. And so we've worked with Boston to kind of bring this younger age interaction into Science City. This was a big decision for us. You know, it was a over $8 million capital campaign for us to take on this. With 13,000 square feet, it's a huge activation. We've added new educators that are focused on early learning, focused on art-based activities. So we're really growing our offerings for, you know, families. Look, families may have a kid that already loves Science City and then they have a newborn. What do they do? Well, now we have activity for all ages. The biggest room, which is all aboard, this is designed for primarily like three or four year olds up to like seven, eight year olds. Um, a lot more space for them to move around more physically. Role plays, we've got, it's all train based, right? Union Station has a train history. People love trains. And so we carried that theme throughout this whole room. Um, so there's a huge steam locomotive that kids can learn to work on and play on and act like they're the engineer. Uh, there's a mail sorting car so they can act like they're doing the job of the mail sorter and dining cars so they can pretend to take their parents' order and cook. There's a whole kitchen in there. They can cook up the meals, serve their parents. Um, and then we also have where we're sitting is build your own train set. So like we all kinds of brio you can get on the floor. We've got table based for access for everybody. Um, so you can just build your own train tracks and kind of learn to solve problems on, okay, how do I want this train set to work and how, did, how is this gonna to have to come together and work as one whole system? The area we're really excited about is called Let's Play and it's designed for birth through 47 months. It's kind of broken up into an area just for crawlers. So if your, your child isn't even walking yet, we have a special area just for them, for their development. And then we have, you know, a little more challenging little courses for kids that are learning to walk upstairs and ramps. And so that's been factored in. And then some kind of interactive play as well. But the big change also is historically, no food and drink in Science City, but there is in this area. And so we've built all that in. There's a nursing room, bathrooms, a break room area. So you can take care of all that in that space and keep going with your, with your youngest kids. So we have Creative Corner, which is right next to uh, Let's Play. And that is, we're really excited. It's all art-based. It's all something where kids can do this kind of open-end creativity and learn in a way that doesn't have an exact answer. Um, so there's, the, our, our most excited area is there's two large glass walls. So kids will be able to stand up with paint brushes, paint pictures directly on the glass walls. So, you know, we're always telling our kids, don't write on the walls at home. Well, come to Science City, they can write on our walls. We have a glass trough that's gonna clean all that off. Um, so really excited about that. And then a lot of table-based art interactivities. Um, we got sand tables and light tables so they can do all kinds of creative things to bring in that, that art creativity aspect for kids.